Hello everyone, welcome back to Blade Bias, and it is finally time to talk about the Glider Bermuda. I know I've been flipping it a lot in the past few videos, but as you guys know, I record all of this stuff on the weekend so that I don't really have to do anything during school when I'm busy. So all the times I've been flipping the Bermuda was like an hour after I got it, but since then, I have uh, spent a lot of time with it, and apparently have not gotten very good with it with how much I've dropped it today. But... The Bermuda is something, it's, it's actually pretty special. So the best way that I can describe this thing is if you were in the community, gosh, even six months ago, all of the ballast songs on Amazon were the same. They were G10 scales, or sorry, no, yeah, that's correct. They were G10 scales with stainless steel liners running on these weird cheap bearings. And that is exactly what the Glider Bermuda is. Now I, unlike, I feel like most people, sort of enjoyed that experience out of the Amazon Bala songs. I, um, there was someone who got one and it was just like this kind of interesting, like I kind of liked how the bearings felt even though they didn't feel great. I kind of liked like the G10, the G10 on the Bermuda we'll get into, but I like the G10 feel. I like the weight. It was just kind of like this, this interesting thing that was kind of endearing and that's what the Bermuda is. But made by a competent company who knows and cares about flippers and what flipping is. If I drop this thing one more time, I'm gonna lose my mind. Anyway, the Bermuda feels like a refined Amazon Balasong from six months ago. That is really the best way that I can describe it. The G10 is probably my least favorite part of it. Um, if you know anything about me, you know I had the Nautilus, and you know I hated the G10 on that. This isn't quite Nautilus level, but it is still chalky enough to just make me, like, ugh, kind of recoil whenever I feel it. It doesn't feel the best, it doesn't feel the worst. There's parts of it that feel fine, and then there's other parts of it that feel really bad. Um, so overall, mixed on the G10. The weight is actually surprisingly good. I was worried about the 4.8 ounces. It doesn't feel that heavy when you actually flip it because of the bearings, they make it feel a bit smoother and lighter. Um, but also it has an extreme handle bias, like a, a huge, more than the Kraken kind of handle bias. And a lot of people don't like that, but I find it to be, again, kind of endearing. The fact that this is a $45 ballast song, I'm not expecting it to flip amazingly. I'm not buying it to be my best flipper. I'm buying it to have some fun and to add something new to my collection, and that's exactly what the Bermuda is. It's endearing, it's fun, and it's cool. I like it. If you do want to make it flip better, there are people offering mods like Zippy Balasong. I know has an insert for weights that you can put in the blade if you want to make it a little more neutral. I personally don't. I like how it flips. It's a $45 Balasong. I'm not too concerned. But like this... This is pretty, this is like on the level of if this was my first ballast song, I might not have even ever, eh. I might not have even ever bought the Glider Arctic in the first place because I had the Squiddy, but I wanted something that was a bit more quality. I wanted something that was like, just, I wanted the feeling of metal and this provides that. This is the kind of ballast song that like I would have flipped for a lot longer before getting something else. Um, but yeah, I mean, not too much else to say. The weight is all, like I said, the weight, the balance are all right. It's just fun. Like, it's not going to replace anything in your collection. It's not going to be the best flipper in your collection, but it's fun. It also just makes tricks kind of just like easier to learn. I don't know. I think it's just the handle bias and the fact that I'm used to handle bias, but... The bearings allow you to just be really smooth and flip really slow and methodically and it still works. Bearings are all about flow, I found out. You can't really flip too fast with them or you're just going to lose it. But if you flip slow with good good flow and it's just... Your combo just goes, man. Like, you know, you're just riding the wave, dude. You're just chilling out. Then it is a, uh, it is a surprisingly pleasant experience. So yeah. Not that I was expecting much from a $45 ballast song, but Glider has exceeded my expectations, personally. I think the Bermuda is a fantastic first ballast song for you if you're looking for something. Obviously, you'd have to get it on the secondhand market, which is unfortunate, but 
If you want to get into the hobby, you see one for like 40 bucks on the secondhand market, go for it. It's a really solid first ballast song. It's not going to give you the experience that something like, I don't know, a Firefly would or even a Vulp. Which, considering that the Vulp is much more available, probably the Vulp is the better bet. But this is just fun. Honestly, I see this as a as someone who just got the Vault or some other cheaper Balasong and they want to grow their collection without spending too much. You have like the Squiddy, the Cycloid, the Diode, and now this. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much my current thoughts on the Bermuda. This probably won't be getting a main channel review. Um, if you didn't know I had a main channel since there are a lot of new people to this channel. I have a main channel, so does Ty. We're two different people. Um, this probably won't get a main channel review. It's interesting, but considering that it's discontinued, I don't really think I would provide any value by talking about it in a format other than just Blade Bias. So no main channel review or anything like that, but I like it. And I was expecting to sell it, but I don't think I'm going to. I think the Bermuda is going to chill in my collection and it's going to be a pretty fun little ballad song. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. And thank you guys for a thousand subs, by the way. That's crazy. Glad you've been enjoying Blade Bias. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.